Hello, welcome to another episode of Mud Brains TV Do It Yourself. It's about the death pool sword. You might have uh, read it in the description. Uh, I have built uh, the death pool sword, the death pool movie sword, or at least I thought I built the death pool movie sword. That's a very unfortunate thing that happened. Let me tell you. I was looking for uh, reference pictures online. Like, uh, okay, where, where can I see his sword that he's using in the movie? And then I came across uh, two screenshots. So I think I show them here. Uh, where he got this one uh, sword. Or, uh, let me show you. Here, that's cool. Sword. I came across pictures where he had a handle like this. And he was holding it like this, I think. And I was absolutely certain that this is the sword he will use in the upcoming movie. As it turns out, I saw the latest trailer. It's not a sword. The sword he uses is like round, all black, and just with some little bumpety things on here. And uh, this must have been from an earlier appearance. Maybe from the Wolverine movie, I don't know. If you look for reference images, first make sure you find good reference images and then make sure you find the right reference images. But to be honest, uh, I really like the design of the handle here and the design of uh, this thing. It keeps you from going up there. So there is not a problem in there. Here, uh, when I started building the sword, uh, I made sketches. Hope you can see it. Um, these sketches here, I have this and this for, for the stand of the sword and for the sword itself with dimensions. And this is everything I used to build it. I hope they are of some help to you. I will like insert them now full screen and maybe you can uh, take a photo of this or I don't know, a screen grab and then print it out. If, they're of any help to you. Okay, so hope you got them. And so let me show you what I built. Whoop. Here, this is uh, my finished build. Here is his blade. Let me. Uh, Show it to you like this. I think here's the focus thing. Yeah. So difficult part with this sword was actually it was the blade. For it is very flexible. For it's quite long. It's a uh, 115 centimeters, 110 centimeters. The whole sword. I, I don't know. But th this was really giving me problems uh, to make it not sag down. And here, <laughs> another piece of advice. I pieced this uh, together from three layers. Um, there's, as you can see, one layer like this from the uh, cardboard wave direction. This one like this. And in the middle, there is one uh, where, where the wavy direction is like this to give it more stability. And it took me a really long time to get this to a state where it's stable because it was always like uh, hanging down especially when the uh, glue was wet so i always needed to uh, put it like this uh, and hang it to dry that the blade won't uh, have a curvature after it dried so that was a painful process and then when i started to build this uh, holster thing i found some cardboard in my stash of cardboard that was just perfect for it i wouldn't i could have just used it it is so extremely stable there wouldn't have been any problems for me in building it so 
look up your materials before you start to build something. So here, so then I can show this. Yeah, uh, it's just very straightforward uh, to insert it into and this also got the benefit that it will uh, straighten out the blade. So no matter where how I store it, so I can put it anywhere, the blade will be straight because this thing is very strong. You can't, yeah, you actually can't bend it. So as, uh, not always, but as most of the times I build a stand for this, which is this thing here. And now I can display the sword in it. Here, I can put this here and uh, let me have it in the right direction and put this here. And now I can uh, like put it on my wall, put it wherever I want. I, I think this really came out nice as a display piece. Uh, check out my channel, uh, look for the time-lapse Deadpool thing and, and the whole thing will uh, be shown like in every step uh, how I did it. I hope you uh, like this thing. Maybe if you're inspired to uh, try it yourself, maybe you will build the real movie sword or the movie sword. This is a real movie sword, but the sword from the upcoming movie. Like, we're uh, in the beginning of 2016 right now. Maybe you find the right reference images and don't use the wrong ones, as I did. Yeah, share, like, subscribe. Um, have fun, bye-bye. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.